those who become are those who never settle. They know that there is always a better and greater version. Let me give you a story. I like teaching on these kinds of things. Listen, I have many, many stories on this. Let me give you one of my... Okay, that would be the second or the third encounters with angels in the body now, not in visions. I was in Abuja um, one year, I can't remember, and then I got into a, a bus and I highlighted I was at Mararaba, you know, and my wallet fell and everything fell and the bus had gone. I was with one of my friends and, you know, it was so frustrating for me. Um, I think if I'm not mistaken, I hope it, will, it would be when we're trying to prepare for one of our crusades or so and then everything had gone and the town it was busy you would not even know which of the buses or who someone would have carried it and I pleaded with my friend I said please you have to just get a bike and then go to maybe where the park is and then they'll begin to check I stood there and I was just praying in the spirit and I remember the scripture that just said, you shall put his angels charge over thee and all of that. Now I tell the truth and I lie not. I fear God. I was standing there and the next thing, a man is limping. Remember the story. A man is limping with my wallet and brings to me and says, take and just turns and goes away. And I'm standing there and I'm looking at this man. What is your name? Who are you? At least let me say thank you. And after a while, I cannot remember seeing the man. The first time we were going to hold our crusade in Joss, we were there and quite honestly we were confused and we did not know what to do. Suddenly a stranger walks up to me and says, get a bus and get a loud megaphone. He said, go around the city, remember, and do publicity. I never saw that man again. Angel Harry. Our carnality has reduced us to a point where we don't even have the eyes and the perception. You will be, you will be joking to think everyone standing here is a human being. Do you know, I, I tell you the truth and I lie not. There are many times, I shared it, I started sharing it during the early days of Koinonia, but you notice I stopped. I stopped saying it for a reason. There are times that I would be ministering like this. And suddenly, you know, many things happen as a man of God when you are ministering. You cannot say everything. There are times that I'm standing here already and I'm having multiple visionary experiences while I'm ministering. It's training. With time, your spirit is speaking. You, you understand it so you are not distracted. And there are many times when God opens my eyes. Now I see people. Now not from the body. I now see the spirit man of people. And suddenly, you know in the realm of the spirit, you know that it's an angel now. Because they excel in light. And suddenly you will check and you will find out that uh -uh, this person sitting down is not a human being. The moment they see me and we make contact, they will just stand up gradually and walk out. I've seen this thing many times when Koinonia started. I used to say it, but eventually I kept quiet because I don't want people to build their monuments. You know, people start to make all this uh, idolatry and the rest. So I understand what this scripture is saying.